five, four, three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Can you see me? Can you hear me? One more time. <coughs> Sorry. Can you see me? Can you hear me? If you can, please put yes in the comment stream. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please put yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I'm waiting. Yes, I can. Who's going to be the first to say yes? <laughs> okay, we have Silva. Okay, <laughs> I don't know how many people are watching right now. But anyways, um, okay, some people are saying yes. Okay, good, good. We have some people in the house. Okay, I'm glad I'm not here by myself. Thank you for joining me. Okay, good, good. Okay, we got some people coming in. Okay, great, great, great. All right. Um, I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, hello, and thank you for joining me here in Japan. <laughs> It's snowing today. It's a snowy day. So it's kind of cool. And um, after the live stream lesson, I will probably go out and play in the snow with my children. So I'm looking forward to that today. And um, I hope where you are, it's nice and um, you're enjoying your day or morning or evening. Okay, good. Okay, we have some good morning. Okay, yes, good morning. All right, so um, let's get to it now. And in the descriptions, you can see today's topics. And I also wrote today's topics here, which may be difficult for you to see, but I will tell you what we will um, talk about today. Um, here it says hello. So as I'm saying hello. Oh, first, before I get any further, I have my Colombian coffee. Oh, I like it. It's good. Yeah. And this is my Tumblr. Oh, I'm looking here. We have someone from Perth. I've been to Perth. Um, Perth is a beautiful town. Yeah. Rock Nest Island. I went Rock Nest Island. Um, and I went there for um, New Year's Eve. And actually, that's coming up. So I was there, I don't know, a long time ago. New Year's Eve in Perth is great. So in, in Australia... <laughs> It's um, summer, and so it's warm outside, and people are in the street, and um, the restaurants put tables in the street, and so um, you can have, you can enjoy a New Year's Eve uh, meal outside, and there's, um, there was like four stages, and there's different music playing. It was a great, a great time. I really enjoyed Perth. Um, Buenas noches. So, okay, we got a lot. Hiroko, hello, Hiroko. Nice to see you here, Hiroko. Uh, we have Peru's in the house. Um, it's difficult to get Colombian coffee in Japan. No, 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 no. Um, I get it at Costco. It's like an American imported. They, they, it's an American big warehouse, um, supermarket, and um, I don't know, they sell all kinds of stuff from America. And we get Colombian coffee here. We, I get it at, Jap at, at Costco here in Japan. And Colombian is my favorite coffee. Okay, we have Pakistan's in the house. Uh, you drink coffee in a tumbler. Yes, I do. This is a tumbler. And um, easy to take anywhere in your car or walking around. And there's a... Um, there's a top to protect so you don't spill it. And there's a little lid here. And you pop it over. And then you can drink it. Ah, and then when you're not drinking, you put it back. And so that it stays warm inside. It stays hot. So it's like a thermos. Okay. Oh, London. All right. Okay. Fantastic. Everyone's here makes me super happy and um soon it's going to be new year so um i want before we start i want to wish everyone um happy new year well not yet have a happy new year so before new year's we say have a happy new year and then 
after New Year's, we say Happy New Year. So it's, I don't know, it's December 29th here today in Japan. And so we say, have a Happy New Year. And then、um, after the first or the first, I will say Happy New Year. Okay. So, okay, I'm looking at the comments again here. Do you like coffee? I love coffee. Coffee is my favorite drink. It really is. I drink. I drink a lot of coffee. I drink coffee in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. <laughs> Tumblr. Yeah, yeah. B, B. Tumblr. Someone asked me, how do you spell it? I'm not a very good speller, but I think I can do it. Okay, Tumblr. So we got T U M B L E R. Tumblr. I'm pretty sure that's Tumblr. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay.、Uh, any new resolutions, teacher? Oh, res- New Year resolution.、Uh, I don't do New Year's resolutions too much.、Um, I, my, I guess I'm just going to say I'm going to, because I work a lot, I work hard, and I keep trying to make this better. So I think. I will just keep trying harder. So, I will. My New Year's resolution is to make my channel、um, better and work harder and try to improve more. But、um, I'm not going to quit anything. I'm not going to lose weight.、Um, every day, I, I, every morning, I go for a walk. So, I exercise. So, I'm going to keep doing that.、Um, and I guess I'm just going to try to、um, improve. So,、um, make better worksheets, make better videos. So,、um, and I'm going to make another book. So, my resolution is to keep going, don't stop, and make it better. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, that's my resolution make it better. So, make it better in 2019.、Oh, that's a good campaign, huh? Make it better in 2019.、Oh, I should get paid for that. Someone, some ad agency ought to pay me for that. So <laughs> let's see. Make it better. Make it. Okay, move this down. Make it better in 2019. How's that? Is that a good, is that a good resolution? Make it better in 2019. Okay. So. Ready? <laughs> let's, practice the, let's, let's practice our new、um, motto. This is a motto. Okay, ready? Make it better in 2019. Ready? Make it better in 2019. One more time. Make it better in 2019. Okay? So, whatever you do,、um, let's make it better in 2019. Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay, so. Uh, what time is it in Japan? It is now、um, 11 52 or something, 11 52 a.m. So, in about, I don't know, eight minutes, it's going to be noon, 12 noon in Japan, Saturday. Saturday. Okay, me t- I'm an English teacher for elementary kids. Okay, good. So,、um, I, for years and years, I taught.、Um, Kindergarten and elementary school, junior high school, high school. Now I'm doing、um, university students, which aren't much different than high school students. <laughs> and, but now I'm doing mostly YouTube stuff. And、um, I have some private classes here at, the, at, the, at um, my um, studio here. Okay? So, anyways, let's get going. Okay? I don't want to get people bored. Okay? So, today's. Topics. And you can see the topics in the、um, descriptions below. So we're going to talk about fashion. All right. And fashion, we're going to do, we're talking about patterns,、um, materials, <coughs> sorry, and adjectives. About、um, fashion adjectives. Okay. Like chic,、um, elegant. Okay.、Um, Modern. All right. So we're going to talk about those kind of adjectives and we will do a conversation in my book. And you can get this at Amazon.com. So we are going to do a. we If you have the book, we're not going to do it right now. We're going to do fashion first and then we'll do the books after that.、Um, 
the the conversation today is 24 um, in a restaurant. Okay, so does this seem cold to you? Yes, send it back. So that's today's conversation. We'll talk about that. We'll practice that. And then um, we're going to do um, academic word list. Okay, so that's going to be a new feature. So um, I added a couple new features. So one of the features academic word list. So um, that's important for exams and things like that. Okay, and um, can the modal verb can and can't. I kept putting that off and I got to do it. Um, I always ran out of time, but today I will, I will do it for sure. Um, and then the collocation, which is also a... Um, a new, um, what's the word? A new feature in my live stream. So um, every live stream, we'll do a collocation. And today's collocation is act. So words that go with act. All right. And so it's going to be busy and we got a lot of things to do. So let's get going. Let's start. Okay. So make it better in 2019. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fashion, fashion, fashion. And Let's first, okay, let's look at these patterns here. Okay, so clothing patterns. Okay, so I just printed this out and we have some numbers here, okay? So we have, can you see number one? What pattern is that? Number two, what pattern is that? Three, what pattern is that? Four, what pattern is that? Five, what pattern is that? Six, what pattern is that? Seven, what pattern is that? Eight, what pattern is that? And nine, what pattern is that? Okay, so if you know already, um, in the descriptions, please put a number and what pattern that is, okay? So let me get the magnet here. Got another one. So the patterns are right under. Make it better in 2019. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Tumblr. Okay, erase Tumblr. We'll keep. We'll keep this until I need the space. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, do you know what these patterns are called in English? If you do, please write them in the comments. Oh, Kenya. Hello, Kenya. It's 6. Is that 6 a.m. or 6 p.m.? Are you talking about 6 a.m. or 6 p.m.? Oh, number two is floral. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. All right. We got people on the ball. Oh, 6 a.m. or p.m.? 6 a.m. is morning, and then p.m. is afternoon. Okay. So are you talking about 6 in the morning or 6 in the afternoon or evening? Okay, so let's get going here. Okay, actually, I'm going to erase, make it better in 2019. So we have the space here for um, the patterns. Okay, so, okay, can we see this? Okay, the, my lighting is, that's always a challenge. Okay, no, nope, that's too high. You can't see it. Got to bring it down. Right, how's that? Right there, number one. Okay, number two. Uh, number three. Number four. Five. Okay, six. Okay, so, okay, we have, okay, one is striped, yes. Striped. Okay, two, we, someone said floral, I'm pretty sure, and that's correct, floral, okay, what else we got, uh, flowered, okay, you, yeah, flowered is okay, yep, we could say floral or flowered, yeah, okay, that's fine, no problem with that. Uh, six, camouflage. Good, 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 good. Six is camouflage. Let me move this over so we can, I can, right 
the numbers more numbers here okay um seven eight and nine okay so someone said camouflage let me get i don't want to misspell this stuff embarrassing okay um yep okay so camouflage six camouflage okay camouflage yeah number six i'm sorry i'm looking at the comments now camouflage okay so here we go we got um striped striped is just one p sorry stripe one p not two okay Okay, striped um, floral, that's right. Okay, camouflage. Okay, we got some more here we need. Ah, paisley. Scottish, okay, cl cl okay, Scottish. So actually, okay, number five, th th that's a, like a Scottish, but we say um, tartan, tartan. And that is number, tartan, number five, tartan. Tartan, yeah. So, but that that's that comes from Scotland. So that style is Scottish. Yeah. Okay, and then um, three is paisley. Good, good, good. Paisley. Okay. Three paisley. Okay, good paisley. Three. Let me. Okay, we got any anybody else? Okay, so we have um, striped floral. Paisley, so that we got the top three here. Striped, floral or flowered, pais paisley. We don't have four yet. And then we have um, tartan, camouflage. We don't have seven, eight, or nine yet. Nine is cotton. Okay, uh, not material, the pattern, the, the name of the pattern. Okay. Let me, okay, so again, we got striped, one, we got floral, paisley, and then number five, we got tartan, six is camouflage, and then what do we got for the others? What, what are the others? Do you give up? Do we give up? Checkered, yes, okay, we got checkered, good. And that's four. Yep, checkered. Okay, we're getting it done here. Okay, good, good. Okay, checkered or checked? Checked, checkered. I think that's the same. <laughs> okay, checked or checkered. Okay. Ah, polka dot. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we got... um. Geomeric ge geometrical um no but it is sort of like that okay um okay what we um, uh, who, who, uh, okay polka dot is yeah that's number eight polka dot okay so we got polka dot okay we almost got them all done uh let's see mm -hmm. so we still need we got two more Seven and nine. Smooth. Okay. Let, okay. Everyone's. <laughs> this. We could say plain or solid. Seven. Plain. Or solid. Like just. So plain, right? No pattern. And solid is just one color. Okay. So um, plain. It's like no nothing <laughs> no 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 pattern or solid like one color just one color and that's this is blue right so this is only blue so we can say solid or plain okay and then number nine is argyle argyle so i want to make sure i spell that correctly okay argyle okay argyle Okay, good, good, good. We got it. 
So let's review again. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to hold it up to the camera so you can see. <clears throat> and then, okay, repeat after me, okay? Let's, let's say these together, together. Okay. Here we go. Number one, striped, striped. Floral, floral. Paisley, paisley. Checked, checked. Tart, tartan, tartan. Camouflage, camouflage. Plain, plain. Polka dot, polka dot. Argyle, argyle. Okay, good. Oh, tartan. I misspelled it, huh? Oh, no. <laughs> it's it's A-A, huh? There's no O. Oh, no, and I dropped the magnet. Okay. Let me fix this here real quick. It's A. -N. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah. Oh, no. Okay, tartan. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for pointing that out. Bring that to everybody's attention. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we have the patterns there. Okay, now material. Okay, I don't have pictures. Okay, so here we have um, the pattern, right? And so, like, for example, um, my shirt is kind of a tartan, a simple tartan, okay? And, um, and then... Uh, under, I'm wearing a, okay, strip, do, 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 oh, no, <laughs> oh, no, he, close your eyes, <laughs> oh, okay, I have a, a plain turtleneck, okay, and that's um, solid gray, all right, so, um, and then my, my trousers, my pants, you can't, maybe they can't, this is kind of another tartan, like a, a simple tartan, okay, and okay, so these are the um, names of clothing patterns. Okay, now we're going to talk about material. So what what clothes are made of? Okay, so what's the what's the material? What what is the shirt made of? Okay, so I'm gonna I don't have pictures of those, so um, it's kind of hard to have a picture. So I'm gonna write them on the board. Okay. And then we could talk about it, okay? And I'm going to go, okay, now see, my lighting is just terrible here. Like, the whiteboard, is, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. Okay, so actually, I'm going to go here, okay? I'm going to go here. And then um, here we go. Okay, so what's that? Can you say what material? Cotton, yeah, and so I have a, uh, my shirt is cotton, made of cotton. I have a, a cotton shirt. Okay, good, good. Your shirt is cotton. Good, good. Yes, yes. And both my shirts are cotton, yeah. Please don't forget to let us know when you, okay, okay, wait, hold on, I'm reading this. Okay, what time? And so we can see you again. Okay, yep, and I will, I will tell you my next live stream for sure, Okay. Um, well, real quick, because of um, the holidays, my schedule and the ki my, my kids are home from school and, and my wife and things like that. So, so my schedule right now is kind of um, undetermined. I'm not sure. So um, I don't know when my next live stream is. Sorry. But once we get past the new year and then... Um, get back to normal um, working hours. Um, I will keep the same pattern Tuesdays and Fridays. Tuesday in the afternoon about 5 p.m. Japan time and then Fridays 10 a.m. mornings Japan time. So Tuesdays uh, 5 p.m. evening time and Fridays 10 a.m. morning time. Okay, so those are like my usual um, live stream times. <laughs> okay, so okay, so back to uh, materials. So cotton, right? So I think cotton is the most popular material. Yeah, and then um, so in winter, P 
people like to wear wool. Yeah? And um, so wool is made from sheep, sheep's um, hair, <laughs> sheep hair. <laughs> so um, cotton, cotton is a plant. It's like a flower. And it's white and it's a plant. Wool comes from sheep, maybe from other animals too, I'm not sure. But um, I think mostly from sheep wool, all right? And that's very warm. So people like to wear um, wool in the winter. Ah, woolen, yeah. So that's like, for example, a woolen scarf. Good, good, nice. Okay, so, um, so woolen would mean um, like um, made of wool. So woolen made made from wool made from wool okay so like woolen uh, a woolen hat a woolen scarf a woolen coat a woolen sweater <coughs> okay good good i see leather someone wrote leather yeah so that's made of animals like like for example a cow right um, silk, yeah, so I have a silk tie, <coughs> so silk is made from worms, a silkworm, yeah, okay, so this is kind of, okay, this is cool, I, I didn't think about that before until just now, woolen, ah. <laughs> woolen, thank you, <laughs> woolen, um, yeah, leather, denim, Denim is a is made from um, made from um, cotton, right? And it's a thick denim. Denim, denim. So denim is made from cotton, like denim, denim, denim jeans. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move this over again. Oh, it just dropped on the ground. Okay, we're going to put that there. Put the magnet there. Put the other magnet on the other side there. Bring this up a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we have cotton, wool, leather, silk, denim. How about fur? Fur. Okay, that's from made from animal skin as well. Okay, I'm looking over the comments. Okay, so made of or made from? I, I think it, okay, that's good. Okay, made from, made um, made of. I think it's, it, they mean the same. So made of wool, made from wool. So basically, same meaning, so made from right made from leather so um his jacket is made from leather or his jacket is made of leather okay made made from made of okay so, all right, okay, so that's basically the same, same meaning. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, and I think what's kind of interesting too is um, what these are made or what, where they come from, where they come from. So cotton comes from, okay, actually, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a picture of this real quick because I want to erase this and talk about these materials, okay? And um, I think this is probably the best part of the board, okay? So I'm gonna take a picture and um, and then we'll continue. Um, like always, you can, I um, take a picture and then upload the picture to my Facebook groups page. And um, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice and you can see the whiteboard pictures that I take after the live stream. 
And let me get the, uh, my kids were messing with my phone. Okay, I got the, okay, so I'm going to step out of the, you won't see me right now, but you can hear me, and I'm going to take a, let me get a better position here. Okay, here we go, countdown, um, five, four, three, two, one, and got it. Okay, I took the picture. I will upload it on the Facebook groups page. All right, so, okay, I'm going to erase these right now so we could talk about um, made, made from, made of, comes from, okay, all right, all right, okay, what pen, <laughs> I got new pens here, okay, um, okay, cotton comes from, okay, we could say, okay, cotton, cotton, um, let's see, cotton comes from, Cotton comes from plants, or cotton. Cotton comes from a plant. Oh, is, is that strange? Cotton comes from a plant. Let's see what else. Cotton. Um, cotton is a plant. We could say that. Cotton is a plant. Mm. Uh, cotton, okay, let's just, maybe I'll think of something else. What is it doing this? Okay, wool, so wool comes from, wool comes from sheep. Wool comes from sheep. Okay, wool comes from sheep. I'm looking at the comments here. Oh, Pakistan cotton, yeah. So comes um, come from plants cotton. So cotton comes from um, the cotton plant. <laughs> cotton comes from the cotton um, plant crop. Yeah. So it's a crop, meaning crops are um, like agricultural they're grown for production so crop for example in your if you grow <coughs> in your house if you have a little garden and you grow tomatoes cucumbers um, corn things like that carrots lettuce your home garden so you grow those vegetables for yourself but a crop is grown for production so they they take a big piece of land and they grow a lot of corn and then that corn is used for production for example um, for animal feed they give it to pigs for example or they'll grow cotton or they'll grow corn for fuel so they make um, what what's it called the the um, uh, they make um, they make fuel for cars on where they I forgot the fuel that comes that they that comes from corn I forgot they'll grow corn for oil cooking oil all right so those are crops um, plants grown for production crops like wheat and barley yeah so wheat and barley is grown for um, for like liquor and um, cereals and production. Okay, plants, yep. Okay, um, wool comes from sheep. Leather, leather, Ugh. okay, leather comes from cows. Leather comes from cows, okay. Um, silk, silk, comes from worms, <laughs> silkworm, worms, silkworms, special worms, yeah, 
Uh, fur comes from animals. Fur comes from animals. Like rabbit, rabbit fur, fox fur, things, animals like that. Um, fluffy, fluffy little animals. <laughs> Uh, from animals, yeah, yeah. So fur. So for example, like fox fur. So foxes um, fur. They make um, they make um, clothing from fur, but not so much anymore. I think people like that's a bad idea, and we can have um, th they can make um, what's it called? Not real fur, but um, fake fur. That, that feels the same, but it, it's 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 um, not from animals. It's from um, plastic and things like that, I guess. Um, anyways, okay. So um, we have these are the main materials for clothing. Oh, denim and denim comes from cotton. Yeah. Okay. So we have cotton, wool, woolen, uh, woolen scarf. So um, a woolen scarf. Okay, so a woolen scarf means um, a scarf made from wool. Made from wool. Leather, silk, denim, fur. And then we talk about made from, made of. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, and now we'll talk about adjectives, all right? Okay, I got, I got to take another picture, I guess, huh? We got to take a picture of this. What we just did now, okay? Sorry, so I'm, I gotta step out of the step out of the camera for a minute to take a picture. Okay, you can you can see or you can't see me, but you can hear me. And here we go: one, two, three, and picture accomplished. Mission accomplished. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna erase this, and so we can we can talk about adjectives. Clothing adjectives. And then we can make some sentences using the adjectives. How does that sound? Does that sound good to you? Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, where are my adjectives? Here they are. There are many, many, many. So I wrote a list. Many, many adjectives. So, how about first? How about you guys? Can you what, can you think of some adjectives used for um, clothing, fashion, fashion adjectives? For example, okay, I'll do the first one. Okay, and then um, if you could think of others, fur comes from animals. Yes, it does. Um, the Cultivation of silkworm, for silk, is called sural culture. Ah, I didn't know that. Suri, wait, I didn't. I my, I can't see. My eyes are so, not so good. Um, Suri culture. Oh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. Thank you for that. So everyone, um, actually, um, I I write stuff on the whiteboard, right? But actually, your comments are really good, and so. You guys could learn a lot by just reading, you know, studying the comments. So everyone watching right now is um, writing great comments and giving us great information. So the comments, and when you, um, if you watch the video again after I, the post live, you can you can watch it with the comments, and it's it's great study aid. These comments are great study aid for you guys. Orange is a new black. <laughs> Yeah, prison, prison fashion. <laughs> I don't know about prison fashion. Um, all right. So, so Siri culture is the production cult the production of silkworm, or um, silk producing silk from silkworms. Okay, old fashioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get back to topic. Okay, so adjectives. So old fashioned. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, nice. Old-fashioned. 
Yeah. So, like, for example, um, for example, uh, she likes old fashioned shoes or some. Uh, he likes old fashioned jackets. Yeah. Good, good. Here's another one. Bold. That's a bold shirt. <laughs> so very bright and um, easy to to see. Like bold, bam. So some some people's fashion, their clothing just comes right out. And it's super bold. Yeah, modern. Nice. I like that. Modern. Yep. Yeah. Modern. So so, um, so today's modern fashion. So. Um, I don't know modern fashion. I'm not. I don't wear modern fashion. So modern fashion could be the um, what's popular today. Yeah. Okay. So um, what's popular today? What's popular? Am I still on the board today? So modern. Okay. So like, what's popular today? Modern. Um, chic. Elegant, stylish, nice, chic. Okay, chic. Am I still okay? Chic, elegant. Chic, elegant, stylish. Are you chic? Do you wear elegant clothing? Are you stylish? <laughs> Traditional, okay? Yeah, traditional. Traditional, good, good. All right, you nice, nice, nice. New, new fashion or some new clothes. Let's go. Let's go buy some new clothes. Let's go buy some new clothes. Yeah, yeah. New, casual, sexy. Sorry, sharp. Uh, sexy. Uh, what else? Sharp. I saw sharp. What else do I see? Um, casual. Yes, casual. I'm 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 kind of a casual dresser. Uh, casual, casual. Let's see. Um, yeah. Okay. Casual. Yeah. Okay. Casual. Uh, okay. Elegant, stylish, new. Any more? Classical. Classical, do we have? Okay, yeah, classical. Classical, good, good, classical. How about um, flashy? That's a flashy jacket. Where am I? I'm looking for space here. How about here, flashy? That's a flashy jacket you have. <laughs> Uh, party wear. Okay, party. Yeah, okay, party wear. I'm not sure if that's an adjective. Okay, party wear. Um, I like wearing traditional clothes. Okay, so meaning your culture, like traditional. Um, where are you from, Carmen? So do you mean um, traditional clothes? of your country like for example here in japan kimonos are traditional clothing um so lots of cultures have um traditional clothing i guess america our traditional clothing denim so like denim levi jeans that's um american fashion beautiful yeah that's a beautiful dress that's a beautiful coat good Beautiful, nice, nice, good. That's a beautiful folk. Um, folksy, uh, th no, folk, I'd say like old fashioned. Folk is old fashioned. Folksy, vintage, yeah, vintage, like old, but but um, well, well kept, like, um. So old, but um, still good, all right? So vintage, 
actually here in Japan, vintage clothing is popular. So old jeans or old uh, shirts, like, but made very well, and so they still last. So vintage is old but well made. Colorful, yes. Colorful, good. Some people like wearing colorful clothes. Some people like um, wearing uh, dark clothing. Psychedelic. <laughs> Woo, psychedelic clothes, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, Carmen. Oh, Mexico. So long skirts. Yeah, okay. So actually, um, and then like the men have the embroidered shirts and the buttons. Like that's maybe a traditional um, Mexican shirt, right, for men. And the women, I think, have the long dresses. Yeah, with um, what pattern? It's kind of a flower pattern, floral pattern, the Mexican traditional um, clothing. Maybe lots of flowers, right? Um, plain, dark. So just, um, yeah, dark. Dark, uh, what else did I see? Plain, yes, plain. Oh, oh I'm taking this down. We have space on the whiteboard. Okay, um, what, I can't, oh, plain, did I put plain? Okay, plain. Okay, that's good, plain. Okay, let's see what else. Um, formal. How about formal? Formal would be kind of like traditional. Do we have tra traditional? Formal, that those are closely related. So formal would be, you know, uh, uh, for men, a suit or um, like a, a uh, tuxedo. And women would be maybe a black dress or um, kind of a dark colored dress, formal. Okay, how about trendy? It's trendy, like, so what's popular today? Trendy, right here. Trendy. So what's popular and, and trendy? Everyone's wearing it. So super popular and so it becomes trendy so everyone buys the same thing so for example here in japan uh, there's a, a, a clothing company called uniqlo and it's good 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 clothes like this is uniqlo and my th these are uniqlo and they're cheap and oh good good clothing <laughs> stylish i think B but um very popular in japan so everyone wears uniqlo so you'll see um, Uniqlo down jackets, and those become trendy, where everyone, everyone wears them, everyone buys them. Okay, comfortable, yeah, comfortable. I like comfortable clothing. Yep, yep. Comfortable, yeah. Comfortable is very important. So sometimes people will um, wear. They'll wear. Um, Let's see, trendy clothes that maybe aren't comfortable, but they're stylish, or and they're popular. So they, they you they um, what's the word? They choose fashion over comfort. <laughs> fashion over comfort. Yeah, for me, comfortable is more important than fashionable. <laughs> Individual. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see, how about, mm, what's another word that would be uh, individual for for clothing? Uh, let's see, I'm looking over my list here. Um, uh, let me think. So individual is like independent where you're the opposite of trendy the opposite of trendy so you're you're going your own way you're not following everyone else you're 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 choosing your your 
your style over what is popular or what is trendy. So it's the so the opposite of trendy would be um, independent. Um, maybe bold, right? So I don't care about what people think. I'm. This is what I like, so I'm gonna wear it, and that's being bold. Okay. Okay. Anyways, let's. I, I gotta watch the time here. Okay, it's almost been 50 minutes. So let's. I want to move on to the next topic. Okay. So let let's review these, and then um, we will go to our next topic, which will be um, conversation. Okay. So we'll do a conversation for my book. So let's. <coughs> sorry. Let's. Okay, let's um, practice pronunciation here. Old fashioned, old fashioned, bold, bold, casual, casual, beautiful, beautiful, modern, modern, chic, chic, elegant, elegant, stylish, stylish, dark, dark. Oh, the opposite would be bright, bright colors dark colors so I'm gonna I'll write this just because it's the opposite so dark and bright or light oh can't see that I'll do it here okay bright okay okay so here we go one more time dark bright Right, traditional, traditional, classical, classical, new, sexy, sharp, vintage, flashy, party wear. I'm not sure if we, <coughs> I'm not sure if that's an adjective. I wouldn't, that's more of a noun, like, hey, let's have the, I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, um, plain, plain, colorful colorful formal formal trendy trendy comfortable comfortable okay good 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 okay classy he's a classy dresser yeah we're at classical classy I'm gonna take a picture so I'm gonna write classy here Classy. Okay, good. Okay, now um, I'm going to take a picture so I could upload this to our Facebook group page, okay? And then we will. Um, okay, I got the wrong code here. Okay, and then um, we will do the book now. Okay, let me open the camera and I'm going to take a picture of the fashion adjectives. Here we go, one, two, three, four, and done. Okay, we got another picture taken. And I'm gonna erase this so we can do our next activity. Old fashioned, bold, casual, beautiful, popular, modern, chic, elegant, stylish, dark, bright, classy, vintage, traditional, new, sexy, sharp, uh, formal, colorful, trendy, comfortable. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, here we go. If you have this book, you can take it out now. <laughs> we, you could take it out, and we could do this together. Of course. If you don't have the book, that's okay because I'm going to write it right here on the whiteboard. And we're actually going to do a quiz too, okay? So first we'll do the conversation, then we'll take a quiz, all right? And um, today's quiz is the first quiz. We didn't do it before. So before we get too far in the book, I want to do the quiz. So you can see we have... Um, quiz yeah so we'll do we'll do the quiz after the conversation and today's conversation is 
conversation 24. So now we're almost halfway through the book. There's 50. So we're at 24 now. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to read it, and then, and then I'm going to write it on the whiteboard, okay? Here we go. Does this seem cold to you? Does this seem cold to you? Yes, send it back. Yes, send it back. Okay, one more time. Does this seem cold to you? Yes, send it back. And then it continues. Ah. Hold on, hold on. And then it continues. You can see down below. And then we'll continue. And then now, now the waiter comes in. What's wrong, sir, madam? So if it's a um, man, the, the waiter will say, what's wrong, sir? If it's a woman, the waiter will say, what's wrong, madam? What's wrong, sir? What's wrong, madam? My steak is cold. My steak is cold. Sorry, I'll bring you another one. Sorry, I'll bring you another one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good, good. Um, here we go one more time. Does this seem cold to you? Yes, send it back. What's wrong, sir? What's wrong, madam? My steak is cold. Sorry, I'll bring you another one. Sorry, I'll bring you another one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good, good. Okay, so I'm going to write this on the board, and we will practice the conversation. Sending food back. Take it back. This does not meet my expectations. Send this back. Okay, so. Okay, we're going to, right here, I think, is a good A. Okay, you can see A, good. Okay. A, the, the, the diner, the person having the meal, the customer, does this seem, does this seem cold? Does this seem cold to you? Does this seem cold to you? And then B, mm. yes, yeah, send it back, yes, send it back. <clears throat> okay, now the waiter, I'm going to put the waiter for W, okay? W means the waiter, and um, okay, what's wrong, sir, what's wrong? So for, for a man, it's sir. For a woman, it's madam. Question. <coughs> What's wrong, sir? What's wrong, madam? And then um, A again. OK. S um, my steak is cold. My steak is cold. And then the waiter says, okay, the waiter says, sorry, I'll bring you another one. Sorry, period. I'll bring you another one. Another one. Another one. Okay, and then... The customer, A, says, thank you. Right? We should, even though it was, we were angry because we got cold steak, we should still be polite. Right? So it's important to be polite. Even if, <coughs> even if somebody does something bad to you, um, you should always be polite. Okay. So let's, okay, let's go over this. Okay. Simple, yeah, okay, good. Simple is best. Does this seem cold to you? So, does this, 
so maybe you know the steak, right? So oh, does this? It's a pronoun. Does this seem cold to you? Seem. So um, your senses. So does it? Um, so you're not tasting it, right? You're just looking. So um, does it look cold or the the um, your what you're imagining? So you, by looking at it, so you're not tasting it, like or maybe you're not touching it, right? Because it's food. So you're just you're showing. So A is showing B, like oh, does this seem cold to you? Does this does this look cold to you? Does this feel cold to you okay um and then be oh yes yes it does send it back so send it so does this and it so these are both pronouns for for the steak okay okay so does this seem cold to you uh yes send it back and then now the um so maybe like excuse me waiter waitress come on come on <laughs> excuse me and then the um the waiter or waitress walks over to the table and says, oh, what's wrong, sir, if it's a man? Or if it's a woman, what's wrong, madam? And then um, this person, my steak is cold. My steak is cold, right? Because we don't want to eat, like if you order a steak, it should be warm or hot, right? We don't want cold steaks. My steak is cold. And then... Um, the waiter said, oh, sorry, I'll bring you another one. So here, the adjective, right? One meaning steak, okay? One. I'll bring you another one, another one. So a different one, one more. I'll take the cold one back and bring you a new one. And then um, the diner says, thank you, right? So should always be polite, even though the restaurant gave you a cold steak still you should be polite and say thank you okay now um okay let's practice you together okay so um i'll be a okay and then you'll be b and w okay so i'm going to be a a a a you're going to be b w w okay one more time i am a a a you are B W W. Okay, so let's practice. Excuse me. Or no, 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 no. <laughs> Not yet. I'm, I'm tired. Okay, sorry. Okay, let's start again one more time. Okay. Uh, does this seem cold to you? Does this seem cold to you? Excuse me. Excuse me. My steak is cold. My steak is cold. Thank you. Okay, here we go one more time. Does this seem cold to you? My steak is cold. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let okay, let's switch, okay? So, um you are a and I am B and W. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, go. Yes, send it back. What's wrong, sir? What's wrong, madam? Sorry, I'll bring you another one. <laughs> here you are. Here's, the, here's a nice steaming hot steak. <laughs> oh, I'm looking in the comments here. Um, when is... Uh, when is live stream time? Um, the next live stream time, I'm not sure yet. I'll post it, okay? Because of the holidays, New Year's, I'm, I'm not sure of um, my schedule next week wh when I can do a live stream. Sorry. But in, in um, the week after next, when we get back to our regular um, working schedule, then um, live streams will be Tuesdays and Fridays. Tuesdays, 5 p.m., Japan time, Fridays, 10 a.m. Japan time. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So, let's practice. There's a, let's practice the pattern. There's a pattern in the book that we will practice, and that's, um, I like my steak. How do you like your steak? So, um, maybe you can see the pattern. 
Okay. Um, I like my steak. And then we, how do you like your steak? So there, steaks are cooked how we cook our steak, right? How do you like your steak? Um, like how, how do you like it cooked, right? How do you like your steak? Okay, how do you like your steak? And uh, I like my steak. Ta da. So we have um, well done. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to. Here we go, right here. Well done. Yeah, well done. Then we have it medium. medium then medium rare medium rare okay medium rare and rare okay can you see that okay so how do you like your steak i like my steak um uh, between, I don't know, medium rare. I guess I like my steak medium rare. This is how I like my steak. Medium rare. How do you like your steak? How do you like your steak? I like, I like my steak. I like my steak medium rare. So I'm looking in the comments. How do you like your steak? Uh, medium rare, same as me. Okay. How do you like your, so in the comments, please tell me how you like your steak. Do you like it well done? Do you like it medium? Medium rare? Rare. So well done is there's no pink. And then um, medium, you have um, a little bit of pink. Then uh, medium rare, you have more pink. It's pinker. And then rare is like all pink. <laughs> so. Uh, well done. There's no pink in the middle. Medium. Um, there's some. There's some pink in the middle. Um, medium rare. There is more pink in the in the middle. And rare is it's all pink in the middle. <laughs> how do you like your? How do you like your? I like my steak medium. Okay. Oh, I like my steak spicy. Good. Good. Medium. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take a picture. Where did I put my phone? I'll take a picture of the whiteboard, and then we will take the quiz. We'll do a quiz, okay? How's that? We'll do a quiz. Okay, I'm going to take a picture. I'm out of the... Okay. Oh, I got to get the phone function here. Okay, or the, the camera function. Okay, here we go. Countdown. Four, three, two, one, and done. The picture is taken, and I will upload it on Facebook groups. Mark Kulik, English Speaking Practice, after I finish the live stream. Okay, so I'm going to erase the conversation, and then we will take a quiz, all right? So the quiz, I'm going to read the sentence. You're going to listen. Then I'm going to write the sentence on the board, but leave out a word, a space. And you have to tell me what that space is. Okay, so one more time. I'm going to read a sentence. I'm going to read, I think, eight sentences. Then I'm going to write them, the, the sentences on the board, but there's going to be a missing word. And you have to tell me what the missing word is, okay? Got it, okay, good, you got it, nice, nice. Okay, here we go. Quiz number one. Okay, so there's, there's eight, eight sentences. There's eight sentences. And I will read the complete sentence, but I'm gonna write it when I write it on the whiteboard, 
there'll be um, a word missing. Okay, here we go. So please listen carefully. Hello, how are you today? Hello, how are you today? Good evening, and it's good to see you. Good evening, and it's good to see you. I need to stop by the convenience store. I need to stop by the convenience store. There's a gas station over there. There's a gas station over there. Does this bus go downtown? Does this bus go downtown? Can you help me with these? Can you help me with these? May I ask your age? May I ask your age? Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> okay, okay, good. Okay, now I'm going to write these sentences on the board with a, a missing word. Okay, here we go. Number one. Okay, we'll start here. How's that? Okay, can we see? Okay, good, good. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are How are you? And then Okay, there's no word right there. Okay. So what's the word? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Mm. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Mm. Okay, what's the missing word? Hello, how are you? Mm. Today, woo! <laughs> yes. Hello, how are you today? Very good. Okay, number two. Number two. Good evening, and it's good too. Good evening. Good evening, and and it's and it's good to mm, you. Good evening, and it's good to mm, you. See, good, good. See you, good, good. Yay, all right. Good evening, and it's good to see you. Good evening, and it's good to see you. All right, nice, nice, everybody. Good job. Number three, I need to. I need to. Mm. I need to mm. buy the convenience store. Okay. I need to mm, buy the convenience store. I need to mm, buy the convenience store. Stop. Woo. Nice. I need to stop by the convenience store. I need to stop by the convenience store. Good, 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 good. All right. Number four. <clears throat> Number four. Mm, right at the beginning, the first one is missing. Uh, gas. Station. Mm, a gas station over there. Over there. Okay. Mm, a gas station over there. Mm, a gas station over there. Mm, a gas station over there. Do you remember? No. Okay. 
No, 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 no. Yes, there is. Good. There's a gas station over there. Good. There's a gas station over there. Okay, nice, nice. There is a gas station over there. Okay, number five. Number five. Does this bus, does this bus, does this bus mm, downtown? Does this bus mm, downtown? Does this bus mm, downtown? Go, go, yes. Does this bus go downtown? Does this bus go downtown? Number six. Can you, can you, mm, can you, mm, me, with, me, with, can you mm, me with these? With these. Can you mm, help? Help, help. Woo! Yes. Can you help me with these? Good. Can you help me with these? Very good. Yes. Help, help, help. Seven. Number seven. May I? May I, mm, may I, mm, your age, your age, may I, mm, your age, may I, mm, your age, ask, 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 good, good, ask, may I ask your age, <laughs> may I ask your age? Okay, <laughs> sure, no problem. <laughs> okay, number eight, one more. Number eight. Do you, do you, do you, mm, do you, mm, a boyfriend? A boyfriend? Do you mm, a boyfriend? Do you mm, a boyfriend? Do you mm, have 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 woohoo? <laughs> have good. Oh, very good. You did it. Nice job. Very very good. Yes yes yes. Okay, let's practice. One more. Okay, let's let's say these together. Ready? Hello, how are you today? Hello, how are you today? Good evening, and it's good to see you. Good evening, and it's good to see you. I need to stop by the convenience store. I need to stop by the convenience store. There's a gas station over there. There's a gas station over there. Does this bus go downtown? Does this bus go downtown? Can you help me with these? Can you help me with these? May I ask your age? May I ask your age? Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> okay, and um, so the quiz, so there's, each conversation there's a picture right so you can understand the situation by looking at the picture right so the situations all right now um, okay we're gonna move to the next um, we'll move to our next activity but first I'm gonna take a picture okay so you can see it again on Facebook groups page Mark Kulik English speaking practice uh -huh. Hold on, my passcode, entering my passcode. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture. 
Count down. Uh, four, three, two, one, and done. All right. Got the picture. I will now erase the board so we can do our next activity. All right. Are you getting bored? Is everyone okay? Is this too long? Are you getting bored? Do you wanna do you wanna do the next one? Is everyone okay? Are we okay? You wanna continue? Is everyone okay? Yes? Should we do our next? Okay. If nobody says anything, that means I'm gonna continue. <laughs> if everyone says, no, no, stop, okay. I will stop. If you want me to keep going, I will keep going. Okay, you're okay. Yes, please. Okay, good, good. Everyone, you're not bored. You're not. Okay, that's good. Nice, nice. Okay, we will do the academic word list. All right, so here's. Okay, so today's academic word, meaning scholarly, like used in s universities and schools and like if you need to take a test so this will be a new feature in my live streams we'll do one word each time and then over over the over the course of these live streams we will get a lot of academic words for you to learn all right so today's academic word is Analyze, analyze. Okay, I get space here. Okay. Okay, analyze. All right, analyze, analyze, analyze. And the Z is the American spelling. And the uh, English spelling would like Europe would be, or England would be S. American spelling is Z. I'm American, so I'm gonna put the Z, all right? Analyze. So this is a verb. Analyze. S so, so for example, let me see, what did I say? So actually, it means, okay, to examine something. First, let's talk about that. Examine, so analyze is to examine something. Okay, to analyze is to examine something. Examine something, all right? Everyone okay? Analyze. Good, 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 good. Okay, so examine something. So, for example, um, what did I say? Sorry, I'm spacing out here. Okay, so, okay, so examine something. For example, um, let's analyze. Let's analyze this let's analyze this experiment all right so let's analyze this experiment let's let's analyze and then and then maybe like if you're sports and so um Commentators that uh, analyze a football game. So um, TV, TV sports shows will analyze will analyze a game. Right, and so like I, I enjoy American football. I like watching right now. It's American football season. I like American football. I like the Los Angeles Rams. <laughs> so this weekend, there's gonna be some football games, American football, and after the games, there's gonna be um, lots of sports shows 
analyzing the game, talking about um, the players, how well they did, um, talk about the winning teams, how, what they did to win, the, the losing teams, what happened, how did they lose. So we an analyze, examine. So they'll examine the players, they'll examine the uh, game itself. So TV sports shows will analyze a game. All right. Uh, analyst, anal, um, analysis, analysis. That's maybe a little difficult to pronounce. Analysis. Analysis. And that is a noun. Analysis. Analysis. I'm looking at the. Uh, my analysis is good until now for something. I am analyze. I'm analyze. Uh, analyze his performance. Analyze. Uh, my my tongue is just uh, analyzing. I am analyzing his performance. <laughs> I couldn't get the. Analyzing. I am analyzing his performance. Yes, yes. Uh, sometimes news analysis based on hoax. Yeah, 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 yeah. So analysis. So good, good. Sometimes news analysis is based on a hoax. Okay? Good, good, good. Sometimes news analysis is based on a hoax. That's a good sentence. I like that. Sometimes sometimes news analysis let's see what did analysis is we need is based on a hoax, meaning a, a like a, a joke or something, a hoax, not not true. Not true on a hoax. Or sometimes news analysis is based on fake news <laughs> or a fake story. Hoax, yeah. Uh, it, it's better for news, it's better to say fake. Okay, so that's a better word than hoax. Sometimes news analysis is based on based on a fake story. Right? So a fake story. Um, like an event. A fake event. A fake story. Okay? That's good. Thank you um, for that. Who wrote that? Ah, I can't pronounce your name. Kainst Udo. I, I, I can't pronounce your name. It's too difficult for me to pronounce. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sometimes news analysis is based on a fake story. Yes, that's true. Okay, now... On a fake story. Yes, on a fake story. Analysis... The analysis analyzes which has been analyzed. <laughs> Carmen. <laughs> Carmen, what are you doing to me? Oh, no. And analysis analyzes which has been analyzed. <laughs> oh, that, that's hard on the tongue. That's, <laughs> oh, that's very, Carmen. Bien. <laughs> Muy bien. <laughs> okay. Very good. Um, analytical. Analytical. Ana, analytical. 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 Okay. Analytical is a adjective. That's an adjective. Analytical. Analytical. Logical analysis. Logical analyze. No. So you need 
logical analysis. You need it's not analyze, it's analyst. Logical analysis. Okay. Uh, okay, 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 okay. All right. Analytical is an adjective. So, for example, a more an an analytical approach. An analytical analytical approach. Ah, oh, you guys, this is tongue tying me. Analytical approach. So we're using a. Okay. So we're using analytical. 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 Oh, this is analytical approach. So adjective. So describing the approach. So the 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 way. So an an analytical analytical approach is examining very closely carefully done um, way okay okay ah. Woo. okay let's go over the, the, the pronunciation <laughs> right now I don't know if I'm the best person to do this okay analyze okay examine something analyze let's analyze this experiment TV sports shows will analyze a game. Analysis, analysis, noun. Sometimes news an analysis is based on a fake story. Sometimes news analysis is based on a fake story. Analytical, analytical, analytical is an adjective. And for example, uh, this needs, we need an analytical approach. We need an analytical approach. Analytical approach. A way, a better, a, a, a careful, a careful way to examine this. We need an and it uh, analytical approach. We need an analytical approach. Oh, this is difficult for me. <laughs> and I'm a native speaker. <laughs> and this is difficult for me. Is this analysis correct? That's a correct sentence. Good. Is this analysis correct? Good, good. Analysis? Is this analysis correct? So good, 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 good. Woo. Okay, I'm going to take a picture, and we will go to our next activity, okay? I'm going to take a picture. You can see this on Facebook group pages, Mark Kulik, English Speaking Practice. So this is our day one of academic words. Okay, good, good, good. All right. I'm going to erase this, and we will do our next. Uh, okay, I got to do. Okay, I'm running out of time. We got to do the modal can account. That's very easy. We'll build. So, I so people in the comments will um, ask me for a request, and so uh, so every every week or every live stream, I'm trying to do a um, get your request done, and so I had couple weeks ago someone requested modal verbs and so um, I thought okay we'll do there's lots of them so we'll do um, a, f um, a few each time and so let's do can and can't okay so we'll do can and can't can and can't can and can't Okay, so this is very easy. So it's basically um, your um, abilities, abilities, right? And with the base. So can, can't, plus the base verb. 
okay, and abilities. So uh, I can, okay, I can, plus, plus the base verb, I can play, right? So this is, this is the base verb, right? No change. For example, um, past tense would be played. I played baseball yesterday, but here with the, with when we use can, we need the base, not, we don't change the verb. I can play, what can you play? So f please finish this for me. I can play, let's see. Happy New Year. Have a happy New Year. Have a happy New Year. Okay, please finish this. Uh, do you can me ask? Do you can me to ask? No, 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 no. Cricket. I've never played cricket. I can't play. I can play cricket. How do you spell cricket? Cricket. Now, you can play cricket. <laughs> I can't. Okay, so negative, right? I can. This is a positive, right? I'll put, I'll put the plus sign here. And this would be a negative. I can't. And then again, the base verb. I can't play cricket. No, I can't play cricket. Oh, I can play basketball. Yep, yeah, I, I like the Lakers. Yes, I can play. I can play football. I can play. Oh, the guitar. So with the musical instrument, we need the. I can play the piano. Not really. <laughs> the guitar. Okay, so with instruments, we need the. I can't swim. Really? Whoa. Okay, I can't swim. I can see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. So, I can, base verb, see. Ability, right? I can see you. I can, base verb, I can see you. Yeah, ability. I can see you. I can do it. I can see. I can play the harp. Wow. The harp. It's a big instrument. Whoa. Anything else? Abilities? Can you drive? Can you fly an airplane? I can't play tennis. I can play tennis. I can climb a tree. Whoa, that's good. So a tree. I can climb. So the tree is just one, but there are many trees, so we use the um, indirect. So I... I can climb a tree. I can't, no, like, I can't buy a new car. Ability, so, um, okay, okay, I guess I can buy a new car. You have enough, I have the money, so I have the ability, I can. Yeah, okay, I can buy a new car. Okay, good, yep. I can understand you. Good, uh, that makes me happy. I can make bread, oh, very good. Annabelle, good. Can you make raisin bread? Can you make pumpkin bread? Banana bread. I like banana nut bread. I haven't had that for a long time. I can't eat potatoes. Carmen, really? I love potatoes. How about tacos, Carmen? Can you eat tacos? Can you, can you eat hot sauce? Can you eat salsa? Ha, ha, ha. Okay, good, good. I can play. Okay, I can fly. Ooh, you mean fly in an airplane? <laughs> I can walk. Yes, I hope so. Good, good. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um, okay, so it's very simple. And I, I'm not going to take a picture because everyone, you can do this. Okay, so, um, okay, let's go. We got one more. We have one more activity to do, okay? I hope you're not getting bored. Okay. Let's continue. All righty. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Our last activity is collocation. Collocation. So, 
where is my collocation chart? Here it is. Okay, so we're gonna collocation act. So words that go with act. Okay, so act, act. Act. Okay, and so we, so for example, a charitable act. Uh, I mean, I don't want to make a mistake here. Charitable act. Okay? A charitable act. A kind act. So these words go with act. A kind act. So these, these go together. Charitable act. Kind act. Mm. Heroic act. Heroic act. And actually, sometimes um, with the H, we use a A N. It's not it's not a vowel, but some it, it sounds. Sometimes it sounds like a vowel, so we use an N. So N heroic act, right? So. So A I O U, the vowels we use N, like N apple, N elephant, N igloo, N octopus, N umbrella. But if it sounds like a, if it sounds like a vowel, we'll use um, N. Even though with the H, it's it's a, it's not a vowel; it's a consonant. We'll still use N. N heroic act. Oh, people are writing in angry. Okay. Woohoo! Okay, I don't need my paper anymore. Oh, an ang a hostile. The act, humanity. Uh, humanity. Um, the act of humanity. Ah, uh, humanity. Um, act humanity. I'm not sure. An hostile act. Yes, an host a hostile act. A hostile act. A hostile act. Mm, no A. Okay. An angry act. Good, good. An angry act. Good, 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 good. Pilot act, no. Happy act, no. Fabulous acts, no. I can kind... I can kind of, yeah, yeah. So a kind act for the poor. So a, that was a kind, okay, good, good. That, that was a kind act for the poor. Good, 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 for the poor, yes. Yeah, okay. That was a kind act for the poor. Yeah, that's a very good sentence. I like that. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. Uh, laudable act. Yeah, yeah, laudable act. Good. Good, 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 Carmen. Carmen, your English is super good. Are you in Mexico City, Carmen? What, what, Baja, where are you? I've been to I did, I did a homestay when I was in junior high school in Mexico City. Long, 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 long time ago for a summer. I stayed in Mexico City for a summer when I was a junior high school student. And um, I used to go, well, sometimes I'd go surfing in um, Baja, California. Okay, this is a nice act, yeah. Good, good. That was a nice act. Good, nice act. A nice act. Good, good, good. <coughs> Sorry, I got like something in my throat. Hypocrisy act. No. A positive act, yes. Praiseworthy act, yes. An available act, no. Hypocrisy act, no. A private act, no. We can say foolish act. That was a foolish act. 
foolish act. Foolish act. San Miguel. Okay, San Miguel. Guadalajara. Good, Carmen. Oh, I'm in I'm in Japan. I want to go to Mexico. The weather is always nice in Mexico, yeah? Oh, and I, my favorite food is Mexican food. Oh, I want to go to Mexico. <sighs> I, I can't. I'm getting sad. I'm getting sad, so I can't think about it. Okay, careless act. That was a careless act. Careless act. Careless act. Good. Um, impulsive act. Impulsive act. Impulsive act. Impulsive act. Foolish act. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, someone else from Mexico. Tita. Oh, that where you're from. Agua. I can't pronounce it. Agua scare. Scalientes. Aguas calientes. Aguas calientes. I don't know. Caliente. <laughs> Agua caliente. <laughs> oh, I, okay, good. An excellent act. Okay, a good act. Yes, yes. Correct act, no. A model act, no. An excellent act. Okay, I think that's okay. An excellent act. That goes together. Together. Um, let me do one more. And then we'll talk about these a little bit. Random act. A random act. Okay, a random act. Okay, so um, a nice act, right? So you do something. So act is um, do something. Do something. Do something. Right? So um, maybe you you like uh, that was a, a kind act for the poor. So maybe you donated um, food or you donated clothing or you donated money. You donated your time. You volunteered. So we say you did something, right? So you volunteered. You you um, gave money. You gave food. You gave your time. Maybe you gave an old car, a bicycle, something. You did something for somebody else, so an act. So a nice act, you did something nice. A charitable act, meaning you gave something to somebody lower than you are, like someone poorer. So that was a charitable act. You gave money, you gave time, you gave something of value. A kind act, that's kind of nice. Heroic act, so a brave Maybe you saved somebody. You um, you did something to risk your. You could have got hurt, but you did it anyways. You could have you could have got hurt, but you did it anyways to help somebody. So that's heroic act, like a superhero. Yeah, a hostile act, uh, something like violent or aggressive. So maybe you punch somebody. That was a hostile act aggressive act an angry act so you're angry you're angry and you did something right so maybe you threw a rock at the window or something or you you honking your horn and you're you're driving and you honk your horn. beep 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 keep going move move maybe carmen knows in mexico city there's lots of honking rah, rah, rah. people are angry they want get going there's too much traffic so honking the horn, beep beep, is a hus or an angry act, um, a foolish act, something that is not smart, <laughs> not not smart, a foolish act, like you throw a rock at somebody. That's foolish. That's that's not good. Uh, careless. You're not. You're. That was a careless act, meaning you weren't paying attention. You you were listen for example maybe you were driving and looking at your cell phone and you hit a car that was careless you weren't you weren't taking care you weren't looking at the you weren't looking um uh, at the road you weren't looking at the other drivers 
impulsive act. You just, without thinking, you did it. Like, oh, I like that jacket, even though it was expensive. And you didn't think about it, or you just did it. You didn't think about how, the money. You didn't think about anything. You just, I want it. And so you bought it. That's impulsive. I, not thinking about it. I want it. And you do it. Impulsive. Random act. Without logic. Um, without thinking about it. And, and not a pattern. Like random. You, you, something happens here. And then something happens over there. And another thing. And they don't have any. Um, they don't have any relationship no logic okay so impulsive or no 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 random sorry random act okay Whew. okay um, I'm looking at the comments here uh, that does not happen in my little town only in Mexico City <laughs> good Carmen yeah I here in Japan it, it doesn't happen much but people get frustrated and they will honk their horn. But not, not so much here either. Yeah, Mexico City, lots of honking. <laughs> lots of honking the horns, yeah. Okay, Carmen, everybody. Um, oh, oh, I got to take a picture of this, and then I will post it on my Facebook groups page, okay? So I'm going to post, or I'm going to take a picture of this whiteboard. And... And then I'll post it on Facebook. Okay, here we go. Four, three, two, one, and done. Okay, Carmen, do you make um, your own tamales? Do you make fresh tamales? If you, I love tamales. If you make fresh tamales, freeze it. Send me some tamales in Japan. There's, there's no Mexican food in Japan. Or there is Mexican food, but it's not, it's not very good. It's basic supermarket Mexican food, right? It's not handmade. Oh. So, Carmen, if you make tamales, send me some tamales to Japan. <laughs> okay, I took the picture. Um, I, I'm going to go now, okay? And thanks, everyone. I really appreciate you coming here to spend your time. Um, Please have a look at my book at Amazon.com, and it's I worked really hard on it, and I think you you would enjoy you will enjoy the book. So please purchase the book. Um, you can check out my uh, Facebook groups page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice Facebook groups. I have a website that you can download um, worksheets and flashcards. And um, it's only $39 a year. And please check that out. And actually, my girls, they just came to the school. You want Girls, you want to come into the – hold on a sec. You want to say hello real quick? Okay, this is live stream. Sorry, my girls just came by. This is Sammy. Say hello. Hi. And here's Casper. Say Hello. <laughs> okay, girls. Okay, bye bye. I'm okay. See you. Take care. Okay, I have to. My girls, are, they're off school for the break, so they are. Um, anyways, I have to go, and um, take it easy. Thanks a lot, and please. Oh, Carmen, do you make tamales? Ah, I love tamales, fresh tamales. Okay, anyways, everyone, take care, and I really appreciate your support and um, please tell your friends to subscribe and please tell your friends to watch my videos and um, so my my girls the my um, their mother's Japanese and I'm American so they're half Japanese and half American okay so anyways oh they're cute thank you thank you <laughs> yeah I think they're cute too girls they said you're cute so you want to say thank you come here say say thank you everyone and let's say goodbye together, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, so let's say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. Say goodbye. Bye. Okay, everyone. Um, have a great. I'll see you next year. Have a have have a great New Year. Say say um have a have a have a happy New Year.
Have a happy new year. <laughs> Say have a happy new year. Have a happy new year. Okay, have a happy new year, and we'll see you next year. <laughs> Um, make 2000 and nine, make 2019 a great year. Okay, thanks everyone. Bye bye. I'm stopping. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.